Hi everyone, welcome back to Angel's Heavenly Nail. Yo, what is up my people? Today is special on Angel's Heavenly Nails. Today is outfit of the day. Did you see that? My true passion in life, Heavenly Hi everybody, welcome back. So happy to see all of you. Today's a really great day. I'm rocking this awesome hat. My husband got me this yesterday at five below. Five bucks for this. Look at that distress. Isn't this super cute? I love it so much. Honey, you got great taste. Thanks so much, baby. Um, anyways, today's really special. I'm doing a design on my aunt today. Um, she's coming to get a full set of nails. It's been a while, honey, and I missed you. So if we do art, I will record this video. Uh, but anyways, I'm just excited to do her nails. I get so excited when I do nails. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. But anyways, um, hey, check this out. You see that? Rocking the new kids on the block. T. Ha ha. From the concert. Loving it. Um, but anyways, um, Today is a toe design I did on myself. I did a pedicure yesterday and I did this toe design and I just love it. One, it's really special and you'll know why after this video, you'll get a couple more after this, a couple more videos. Um, but anyways, I just love it. But it's one of my favorites. Out of all the years I have done designs, it's one of my favorites. I don't know why. It's just wild and sexy and I love it. And even my son really liked it and he's all boy. He does not talk about my uh, designs. Once in a while, if I do a really great one, he'll talk about it. But He's all boy, but he said yesterday it's one of his favorites, too. And then, of course, my husband really loved it because he loves red, so you guys will really like this one. And it's just, I love the way it turned out. I'm excited to share it with you guys. Um, but anyways, let's get started on today's design. I will see you in my next video, and hopefully my aunt will want some art today so I can record a video doing her nails again. It's been a while. I love you all so much. Have a wonderful, blessed day. See ya. Hi everyone, so here's the toe design I decided to go with and I really love this one. If you guys like it, would like to know how I did it, stay tuned. So now I'm all done. All the steps are done and whew, my feet feel amazing. They're so soft and I just want to show you, I've never showed you this. Look at how good the bottom of my feet look from always, you know, taking care of them, always doing a pedicure, always using the Puma bar in the shower, always using that heel to toe collection. Now. Women that wear a lot of flip-flops and a lot of sandals and stuff in the summer, you'll get really dry, cracked feet. Well, you notice mine are never like that because I use all these oils and um, the, the Puma bar in the shower, but I just wanted you guys to see. Look at that. No cracks, no nothing. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Baby feet. Oh, love it. So, yeah. So, my feet feel great, and now I'm going to get started on the paint job. Okay, I'm back and I'm all ready to get painting. My feet feel great. Let me show you what I'm using in today's design. For starters, this Hallie, Hallie, sorry, Sally Hansen polish. And I've used this one before. It's called Powder Room. And it's kind of like a taupe color with a little hint of like pink to it. It's beautiful. And then this one by the Finger Paints, this red. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one. It's kind of hard to pronounce. And then I will be using acrylic paints. I'll be using this acrylic paint. And this one is called, let's see, these names are on the sides. This one is Antique Copper. I'll be using that one. It's a really pretty color. And then I will also be using the black acrylic paint. And then I will be using um, my Northern Lights. This time I am gonna use the Northern Lights. I didn't use it in the last design. I was going to, but I didn't. So I'm going to use the Northern Lights. And then I'm also possibly going to be putting through some of these Sawaski crystals. Beautiful red, red crystals through a little bit through, I think, the big toe. So, and here's the brush I'm going to use. That's my brush number one. I got this from Hobby Lobby. And it's a uh, liner brush. And I've cut it. So... I am going to get started on part of the design and I will return. Okay, so I'm back and I've got both feet done. This one has been painted twice. This one's only been painted once. 
So I got to finish these. I've went with two of them done in that taupe and then the other three are done with the red. So I'm just gonna finish up this one here. And this is such a pretty color. I, I really love this taupe, it really is pretty. I hope I'm, I'm kind of getting in the camera there, it looks like. Hopefully I'm not in the camera there painting. But yeah, I've used this one before. I used this one when I did that grape design. It's really pretty. So I'll just get both of those painted. And then I'll go on to the red. And the red, oh, I just love this red. You know, I'm not big on wearing red polish, but I love red polish. So I don't know why I don't do red nails more often, but I really love red toes. I always have. That's one I do love the most, and I have done that many designs with red on the toes. And I absolutely love red nails. I'll see people with red nails and I just love it, yet I don't know why I don't do it more often. My husband really likes red for, you know, a nail polish for my fingers and stuff. He does too. So I don't know why I don't do it more often. It's so weird and I have so many reds too. I just don't know why I don't do more red nail art. I have no idea. I can't even tell you because I don't know. <laughs> so my husband and I had a nice dinner. We went to Culver's for dinner and I love getting a burger without a bun. It's one of my favorite things to eat. I got the, the bacon, um, Bacon Culver's Deluxe, no bun, and I got a salad on the side with it, and it was delicious. I got everything that comes on it. Um, the only thing I didn't get was the bun, and um, it, they don't put ketchup on it. If they had put ketchup, I would have said no ketchup, but it's just mayo, onion, lettuce, tomato, cheese, and bacon, and then two patties. So, so good. But yeah, we had a really nice dinner, and then I went over to Five Below and got a few things there to surprise you guys. You'll see in one of my videos. But anyways, I'm gonna let these dry up and I will return. Okay, now the big toe, I've got half with red and I'm gonna do the other one. I'm putting the red to the bottom and then the taupe color will stay to the top. So I'm just doing a, an angled paint job here. And if I get a little bit on the skin, I'm not gonna worry about that. So I'm just gonna start down in this corner here and just pull up like that, just like that, and then just fill it in. Seems like I'm in the way when I go from this side. There. So now I'll just fill it in. And I would rather get some, I don't get why you guys can't see this. How am I in the way here? I would rather um, get some on the skin than not have it in the toenail good enough. So I don't care if I get some on the skin. Otherwise it's going to look bad if you don't feel it in the cuticle areas, right? So like I said, I just, just going to do it like that. I don't really care if it gets on the skin. I'm just going to kind of go over it one more time here, a little bit more paint. And it doesn't have to be a perfect line. That's what's gonna make it look unique. So just that angle like that, just like that, and I will get it cleaned off the skin. But see, that's how I got it going now, and then I've got that taupe up in the corner, and that's where I'm gonna do the design. So I'm gonna let this dry up, and I will return. Okay, so here's what I got so far, and that's that cheetah print, and I'm just using this copper and this black. I haven't used the black yet. I'll show you how I'm doing that print. I kinda moved the camera, so I hope you guys can see better. So now, this print here is not any kind of certain print you're doing, you're just making kind of like, you know, just set your brush down and just kind of like zigzag around. There's no certain shape on this. You can make these shapes any way you want. So just set your brush down and just, you know, kind of move it around like that. And then just wherever you want on the nail, just, like I said, it's just however you put your brush down and move it around, it's not, it's a cheetah print, so it doesn't have to be a certain like shape, like circle or triangle or something. It's just, however, you know, you set your brush down and kind of just wiggle it around like that. 
and then I'm gonna also do the big one. And the big one, I'm kind of overlapping the red too, right on that line there, so just wherever you wanna set it. And I'll do one right here. And then I'll do one here. And like I said, it's just kind of zigzagging around. Then I'll put one here. One overlapping a little bit more onto the red there. And then I'll put one down in here. Like that. So that's what we got. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Still trying to get that voice back. Okay, so that's what we got so far. Just that cheetah print. I'm gonna let that dry up and I'll return. Okay guys, I am so sorry, but I see that I lost footage. I lost where I did the black. So I'm just gonna show you, just give you an idea how I'm doing that. I'm just using that brush, that liner brush, okay? And you dip it in just a little bit of black and you want hardly anything on it. And what you're gonna do is you're, you're just gonna go around your shapes so, and I've already done that. So you're just gonna kind of just set your brush down. I'm not gonna actually do it, but shut your brush down and you just kind of roll around that shape to one side, a little bit to the other side. Some of them you can go up around like this and come back down. This one I, I went up around and came back down and then in between I put black dots. I am so sorry that you were not able to see this design, but I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna show you an example like on this cap. So let's just say, let me just draw a little shape here. So you have one shape here one shape here these are kind of like the shapes I was doing okay just however you want like that all right then you're gonna take your black and very little paint just however you want I'm gonna go around this one just from this edge like that see like that then I'll go on this side of it and just kind of zigzag around like that then on this one I'm just gonna go up around just one time like that and kind of bring it around like that then the other one I'm gonna go around just a little bit this way and around a little bit that way. So that's how you're doing your shapes. And then you noticed in between I had black dots. I just just kind of sporadically around, just went like that with the black dots. So that's how I was doing it. I apologize that I lost footage, but yeah, that's how you do the, the cheetah print. You see that, isn't that cute? So anyways, then I had top coated on just this foot here. Look at how beautiful it is with the Northern Lights. And I cannot stress, I cannot stress enough how much I love Northern Lights. Look at how you do not lose the design. Because it is such a fine micro um, glitter, you just don't lose your design at all. And that's what I love about it. Yet you got such sparkle, but your design is still there. I, had I used any other glitter, I would have lost this beautiful cheetah print. But because I use the Northern Lights, I still have it. And I really, really love it. So I got to do this toe. And I'll show you how you don't lose the print. There's the print. And watch when I Northern Lights it. Ah. I'm going to shake this up just a little bit more to get that glitter going. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, I love Northern Lights. Okay, so I'm just going to go on this one here and show you what I'm talking about. Now, there's the, the print, and now watch, watch when I put this on. You see that beautiful, beautiful glitter, but you don't lose your design at all. And that's what I love about it, because I love sparkle. I know a lot of ladies that do like sparkle, but, um, you know, there's just some designs you can't go over the top of it because you'll lose that design but not with this one. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'll, I'll do the big one too. I'm going to do all the toes, but I'll just show you this on camera. I usually wipe away a lot of the, the clear part of it just so I get more of the glitter. Okay. And then just go over the top and look at that. You just do not lose your design at all. That's what I love about it so, so much. Oh, look at that. Look at it on the red. Look at how gorgeous that that northern light says look at the sparkle oh my gosh it's so beautiful it's really showing up good in this camera like that so but yeah I just love this paint I love it so much and I really love the way this design turned out I think it's pretty sexy I hope you guys like it as much as I do and I hope you try it out I always ask you guys to do that I would love for you to copy one of my designs and share it with me I would love that and this one here is a fun design to do for new beginners and I would love for you to try that out just try it out it's not as hard as you think because that's a design that you ha don't have to do a specific um, shape it's just fun shapes like that and it's just just fun to do I love it I love this look I love the way it turned out so I'm gonna let this dry up and I decided not to do any crystals because I think this just turned out perfect just the way it is so I'm gonna let it dry up and I'll show you the end photos 
Thank you guys. So I'm just finishing up here with one more coat of top coat. I'm using my Sesh Feet as always. I like to go over even though Northern Lights is a top coat. I still like to go over the top of that. Let me just clean a little bit of this top coat out of there. But yeah, I just like to top it off one more time. Plus it holds your design really good. So I'm gonna go one more coat and it also will dry everything up really nice. So I like my stuff to be a nice finished smooth surface. That's what I like when it's all done. I like it to be a smooth surface. And when you're using that Northern Lights, it might be a little bit of a rough feeling just because there's glitter in it. Not too much, but I just like to finish it off with one more coat and it just makes it shiny and it makes the polish last a lot longer. And yep, it's just how I do it. Always, I always use the, uh, the Sesh Feet before I do my art and then I always top it off with another coat at the end. Obviously you have to go over your art because it's acrylic paints, so you need to top it off again. But I did the Northern Lights so it would have covered it, but here I'm gonna use another coat anyways because I wanna cover even over the Northern Lights. So I'm gonna finish this up, let it dry, and I'll show you the end. All right, I'm all done, and I am just so happy with the way this one turned out. I envisioned it in my head and it's exactly what I imagined. I love it, I love the accent toe. I love the Northern Lights on it, just that sparkle's so beautiful. I'm just so pleased with it and I knew my husband would love it. He loves that red and he told me it's so wild looking and he said that it reminds him kind of of a Valentine look and it really does. This could definitely be used for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys try this one out. It definitely is an easy one for new beginners. It's much, you know, so much easier to do. So and it's a lot of fun, packs a big punch. It's a very special design and you guys will know why pretty soon. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying my toe designs and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I'm gonna get cleaned up here and I'm going to get a foot rub. Good night everyone, have a blessed night.